Hi there survivors, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm the Immortal Adrian and I'm going to be beginning a new series of videos about building. And so in this first one, let's take a look at this little building here. It's a small wood and thatch structure. So I'll just take you through it and then I'll show you how we build it. Now the thing to bear in mind that it's all wood. It's something that you can build very early in the game and the thatch roof is more for the aesthetics than anything else. The thatch is not going to last as long as the wood, but it tends to look better. It looks warmer, and that's the only reason I've gone for a thatch roof. But I have used reinforced doors on the front because they look that little bit better, and I've used greenhouse doors on the sides. Now, if you're not up to a point where you can use greenhouse doors, then you can just use uh, ordinary double wooden doors and the windows are greenhouse windows. Okay, now I'm going to build this house from the items that I've got in my hot bar. I'm going to start with the foundation and I need... We're going four wide two, three, four and we be three deep and two at the front and I'm going to put another row at the back so that's four by three with a with two at the front for the apron okay the next thing I'm going to do is put a row of lower walls in first I'm going to put the front doors in that's slot five. It's going to be doorways here, 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 here. Now the walls can go in. Slot three. So we want walls there. Right across the back. Up the side. And just there. Now I've got the windows. It's going to be a row of windows across the back. So there's the window frames, the window walls. And at the front, above the doorway, I've got windows. It's a bit hard to see in the light and the glare. It's going to go there and there. And here, above the doorway. And here, above the doorway. Right, infill here with solid walls. That's three there and there and up the back and the other side there and there right and here and here so let's just have a look at what we've got so far we've basically got all the walls up now and the doorways So what I'm going to do now is to put in the gable ends. So that's slot six and seven, slot six, one there, slot seven, one there. Gable end at the other side, slot six, slot seven, and a gable at the front, six, and seven. And now I'm going to put the roofing in and this is thatched roofing. You can use wooden roofing if you want it to last longer. But I'm using thatched roofing just on this one because it just looks a little bit nicer for some reason. It adds a little bit more taste if you like but of course I know it's not as functional 
has a solid wooden roof. But I think you'll agree, but for just for pure visual purposes, it, it looks quite good. So there it is. We just need a couple at the front here to finish this front gable. So again, slot nine, one there and one there. Now you notice there's a gap there where the front gable meets the main gable. And this is why I put ceiling panels in. So I've got eight ceiling panels, sorry, 12 ceiling panels and they're in slot eight. So I'm gonna put them in here and they just close off the roof so that if in fact you go away for any length of time and your thatch roof happens to decay then at least your building's not exposed your building's going to be completely safe because as you can see now it's going to end up with a flat wooden wall, a wooden ceiling so what I'm going to do now is put the windows in and I've got greenhouse windows and they go in there, slot zero there and there, there and there. And if you haven't got enough crystal to make the greenhouse windows, you can just use ordinary windows. You can use reinforced wooden windows or just ordinary wooden windows until such time as you can get enough material to make the greenhouse windows. Okay, I'm a window short. I think I broke it when I was pulling it down the first time. Never mind. Okay, I'm going to take the double greenhouse doors and I've got single greenhouse doors which are my front doors. They're going to go here, slot one and slot one. And over the other side, my greenhouse doors are going to go on the side and they're in my inventory, so I'll just place them from my inventory. And I'm using SS equipment, you might have noticed, which enables me to walk straight through the doors. I don't have to push the E key. So I recommend using SS, that's superstructure. It's a mod, but if you haven't got the mod, then that's okay, just use what you've got. So now on the edges here, I put two flat ceilings one there and one here if I can fit it here I can and then the railings let's take the railings and we'll put them in slot zero and I'll put these stairs in slot eight and um, put the fireplace in the wooden table the storage boxes, the preserving bin, and the two mortar and pestles, the forge, and the smithy, just to make our life easier. So starting from the front, we've got stairs on slot eight. So stair there, stair there. We've got railings on slot zero, so we can chuck those in there, there, and there, and the same on the other side, there, there and there. So we'll just step back now and have a look at the front. See those railings and the stairs really kind of finish it off. Give that front a, a, a nice touch and by using a ceiling panel on this corner here instead of a foundation it just makes that balcony pop a little bit better. So that's just about everything on the outside now so we can go inside and finish up the inside and I like to have a storage box on this end, a storage box either side of the doorway. Now these ones here we can cheat a little bit, five, and just I take them out as far as the wall here and just sink them in as far as possible. You can see what's happened. They're actually sunk a little bit into the wall they stick out a little bit here, but you don't really notice that. It just looks like more wood, and it doesn't interfere with this door, and it doesn't interfere with this door. So uh, I see that as a, a sneaky little tip to get a little bit more space inside, like that. 
Okay, now the bed goes here. I haven't got my bed yet. We'll just take the bed here and the preserving bin. So we'll go inside. This is the bedroom area here, so I'll put the bed down there, place the bed, and the fireplace is going to go right here. We could have deleted this window, come to think of it, because the fireplace goes here. Just come back a bit so that it's off that wall. Now, you can put it in the middle if you want, like that. Ideally, that's where you might want it, but... Um, I'm doing it this way and you'll see why things fit in a little bit better this way because starting from this corner here I'm going to put the forge right in the corner because it's, it's quite small in here and we're going to fit a lot of stuff in so the forge goes in the corner and next to that the smithy goes in here right up against the forge like that and then right next to that critical that we have another storage box, a large storage box, so that we can put all our metal and wood and everything that we're going to need in our forge. So that leaves this little bit of space here and I squeeze the preserving bin in. I'm going to put that right next to the fireplace. And I've got enough room left for the table table goes in sideways so I have to stand back here. Six, there's my table. Let's just see where that's going to go. I think that's going to go there so we'll just have a look at that. That's not too bad, that'll do. The mortar and pestles go on top of that. Four, one at the back, one at the front. And that's pretty much it. Here's your workspace here now. Mortar and pestles, storage, forge and smithy. And over here is your personal space, your bed, and um, your weapons and armour and everything would go in there. you got a fireplace here. And you can do your meat cooking and everything in there. Preserving bin. And of course you can come out here along the balcony, come back in there, we'll come out here. What else have we got? Uh, cooking pot usually goes out the front, feeding trough and compost bin go on the outside. Uh, now what I've actually done is I've broken all of the um, torches that I had because I didn't take them down, I just destroyed the walls. So we put some metal, some paste, what else do we need for torches? Uh, flint, stone, thatch and wood. Um, I haven't got enough of any of it, so... Um, wood, flint, thatch, stone. Chuck that in there. and stone and how many can I make? I can make one. Is that all? One? Thatch. Not enough thatch. Okay, well I've got plenty of thatch out here. So we'll just take um, a bunch of thatch. Now some pillars here too. Um, we might talk about them later. You can add pillars just to add a little bit of taste. Uh, I'll put a couple in for you just to show you what I'm talking about. Now, I don't normally do this, but every now and again, they can, again, add a nice little boost to the finished job. They're going in slot six, so six there, there, and there. So you can see what a pillar does there. It just adds a little bit of something. Uh, quite often, you pop them on the corner of, the, of your balconies too, sometimes. They look good. But um, I'm actually not going to do that. I'll leave that one there. On the corner of the building, sometimes they add some taste. So we'll pop them there and you can see what that looks like if I put them on either side of the corner. And can we have another one? There it is. It must be too close. Right, 
so we just step back and have a look okay so you might like that or you might not I don't necessarily need it but it does add something it gives it some more depth of character at the front so anyway coming back here to the wall torches and we want Two, four, six, eight. So we'll have seven more. And I've got two standing torches. So um, what I'd like to do is uh, we'll put the cooking pot out here. Put the standing torches either side of the stairs. Up on the bottom step right at the edge there place bottom step right on the edge and the other one's pretty close by now eight so we'll take those we'll put those in slot one now and I'm going to put one above the smithy one on the other side of the room in exactly the same place there. One on the inside of the entrance, if I can get it there. There. One in the middle at the back in the same place. Let's get a bit closer. And that's there. And on the outside, I like to have one above this door. Now this can be above the door or it can be on the side here wherever you like it um, I'm just going to put it above the door for now oh, wrong. it's there uh, another one on the other side in exactly the same place I always try and keep the balance everything in the same place and how we're we looking uh, did we get one on the front one right out here on the front maybe one above each door so that one there and finally that one there so um, these are SS torches so I can change the settings and set them to automatic or they are set to automatic if I change the settings and turn them off automatic I can light them and they'll stay lit now if you're just using standard torches then you can just light them you put wood in them and you light them and of course you wouldn't bother doing that um, during the day but again if you're using the SS you've got the benefit of having the lights on all the time which you don't necessarily need but it doesn't hurt does it it just adds that little bit Everything that you can add is going to add a little bit. It's going to add a little bit more class, more content, makes it look like you've put a lot more effort in. And you have. Because these aren't necessarily, although they are functional, they're built with more than functionality in mind. We've got appearance, aesthetics. We want it to look good done and light that let's get some wood in the fireplace I'll steal a bit out of here chuck some wood in there light that fire right and there it is ready to move in Okay, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to put the parts list of everything that you need to build this in the description below. And if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to send me a comment. Put your likes in. And if you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. I'm happy to have you along. Okay, see you next time.